up. <laughs> yeah, you should keep up. I, I can keep up. Whoa. Needle. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Good thing you've got your smarts, Poindexter. I've got the other thing. What is it called? Oh, right. Punching! Don't forget to leave our names so they know who owns the place. Pies! 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 Finally! After all these long years of waiting, you're actually here! Brother! In a sci-fi sideburn dimension? Thank you? You really think I'm gonna thank you after what you did 30 years ago? What I did? Why, you ungrateful! Stan, you didn't tell me there were children down here. And some sort of large, hairless gopher? <laughs> I get that a lot. They're your family, Poindexter. I like this kid. She's weird. I... I can't believe it. You're the author of the journals! You've read my journals? I... I haven't just read them, I've li But first, tell me, Stan, are there any security breaches? Does anyone else know about this portal? No, just us. Also, maybe the entire U.S. government. Well, who wants to tell us their entire mysterious backstory? Yes, I have some questions about all this myself, Stanley. Stanley? But your name is Stanford. If not, I will be very disappointed. Okay, okay, okay. I know I have a lot of explaining to do. It all started... A lifetime ago. Mom was a pathological liar, which served her well as a phone psychic. That'll be 99 cents an hour. No, you're overpriced. Yeah, I predicted you were gonna hang up. And then there was my nerdy... But as different as we were, we were the perfect team. And every day we'd wander the beach looking for adventure. Whoa. Flags. Kings of New Jersey! Kings of New Jersey! Kings of New Jersey! You're a six-fingered freak, and you're just a dumber, sweatier version of him. And you're lucky you have each other, because neither of you will ever make any friends. Hey, chin up, buddy. Look, one of these days, you and me are gonna sail away from this dumb town. We'll hunt for treasure, get all the girls, and be an unstoppable team of adventure. <laughs> Ford's brains seem to get more impressive every year. So did our pet project. Sure, I gotten more than my fair share. Pines twins to the principal's office. Pines twins to the principal's office. Ah, great. What is it this time? Not you. Him. Nah. And his name's Stanley. What are you saying? I'm saying your son Stanford is a genius. All his teachers are going bananas over his science fair experiment. Well, what about our little free spirit Stanley? That clown? At this rate, he'll be lucky to graduate high school. Look. There's a saltwater taffy store on the dock, and somebody's got to get paid to scrape the barnacles off of it. An international treasure hunting for us. Look, Stan, I can't pass up a chance like this. This school has cutting-edge programs and multidimensional paradigm theory. Without Ford, I was just half of a dynamic duo. I couldn't make it out there without him. And now, thanks to that dumb college... There, all right. Good as new, probably. A uh, fuse must have blown or something. Kid, a perpetual motion machine has one job, to not stop. I don't think you're West Coast tech material. No, wait! Okay, I might have accidentally been horsing around. This was no accident, Stan. You did this. You did this because you couldn't handle me going to college on my own. Look, it was a mistake. Stanley, what's going on in here? Wait, no, I can explain. It was a mistake. You ignoramus. Your brother was going to be our ticket out of this dump. Stanford, don't leave me hanging. High six? Fine. Oh, the story's so sad. I know what you two little broken teacups need to hug it out. I could make something of myself. Unfortunately, the treasure hunting business was slow going. Apparently, gold is some kind of rare metal. Luckily, I struck another kind of gold. That's the sham total. It's a total sham. I had made my mark, all right. Unfortunately, so did the chamois. Apparently, the cheap die I used. Steve Pinington was ready to take on Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Steve Pinington. Are you sick of bandages that are hard to remove? Then what you need is the ripoff. The ripoff. Whoa, so that 
explains all the fake IDs. But wait, what about you? Did you end up going to your dream school? Not exactly. All right, I know backups more. Luckily, that's what I do best. I went from undergrad to PhD three years ahead of schedule, wrote a thesis that was nationally ranked, and was awarded an enormous grant for my own scientific research. There was one place with a higher concentration of these things than anywhere else. A small lumber town in Roadkill County, Oregon. Gravity Falls. Gah! Yeah. I was in great shape, living on my own, and the best part was, I didn't need help from nobody. ...properties of this town, but what would I find here? Bingo! I began to investigate at once. Sorry, sorry, just uh, <clears throat> got excited there about the journals. Keep, keep talking. I began to keep a journal. <laughs> <clears throat> just going... What did you say your name was? Shmebulok Senior. It was finally a place where I felt at home. But something nagged at me. Where's... But I couldn't make it alone. I decided to call up my old college buddy, Fiddleford McGucket, a young but brilliant mechanic who was wasting his talent trying to make... Many long nights were spent perfecting the machine. It would be the crowning achievement of my studies, an answer to the source of this town's anomaly. Get out! <laughs> This machine is dangerous. You'll bring about the end of the world with this. Destroy it before it destroys us all! I can't destroy this. It's my life's work. I fear we've unleashed a grave danger on the world. I was in over my head and feared I was losing my sanity. I needed help. Someone I could trust. You haven't seen your brother in over 10 years. Did anyone follow you? Anyone at all? Uh, hello to you too, pal. Ah! Ah, hey! What is this? Hey, <laughs> easy there. Let's talk this through, okay? I have something to show you. Something you won't believe. Look, I've been around the world, okay? Whatever it is, I'll understand. That's why I shut it down and hid my journals, which explain how to operate it. There's only one journal left. And you are the only person I can trust to take it. That's it? You finally want to see me after 10 years, and it's to tell me to get as far away from you as possible? I've got a mullet, Stanford! Meanwhile, where have you been? Living it up in your fancy house in the woods. Selfishly hoarding your college money because you only care about yourself. Fine, I'll get rid of it right now. No, you don't understand. You said you wanted me to have it, so I'll do what I want with it. My research! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? Ow! Deadly! Do something! Deadly! Stanford? I didn't know if he was dead or alive in some distant galaxy, but I knew his journal must have the answer to getting him back, somehow. I tried for weeks to turn that dumb machine back on. But without the other two journals, it was hopeless. Finally, I ran out of food. But no, no, you got the wrong guy. I've heard strange stories about that old shack. Yeah, mysterious lights and spooky experiments. Gosh, 15 bucks a person. Sir, what did you say your name was, you man of mystery? Oh, a stand. Uh, I can assure you that is in no way permanent. I paid fifteen dollars for this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. And so I came up with a plan. I couldn't leave my brother's house until I figured out how to save him. I'm trying to bring the real Stanford back. I couldn't risk anyone learning the truth and sabotaging my mission. So I lied to everyone. The town, my family. I heard talking. It was coming from downstairs. Oh, no, it's too late. The agents are coming for us. What do we do? Oh, man, I was so spellbound by your dramatic tale, I forgot all about those dudes. Wait, forget. There. Now, everyone, plug your ears. Get down. Now! Sir, it looks like there's a hidden door behind the vending machine. Excellent. Get me Washington on line one. What? 
Where am I? Why am I standing in some sort of goofy, fun, knick-knack house? Stand down, gentlemen! I've been sent with the latest intel from Washington. Eight tracks, right? Uh, everything about this case is contained on this drive. Well, what are you waiting for? A kiss on the cheek? Get out of here before I have your butts court-martialed! Great Uncle Stanford, that was amazing! Let's not go crazy, it was serviceable. <laughs> Thank you, kids. But please, call me Ford. Huh? But it's the author! I've been waiting so long to ask questions about- I said, hit the <gasps> hay! I'll just- <laughs> <sighs> Okay, Stanley, here's the deal. You can stay here for the summer to watch the kids. I'll stay down in the basement and try to contain any remaining damage. But when this... Because as far as I'm concerned, they're the only family I have left. Just us and Stan and the occasional goblin monster. Well, I'm sure they'll work things out. Dipper, you don't think we'll turn out like Stan and... <laughs> Good night, stupid. <laughs> Good night, stupid. Okay, okay. So it turns... Preston, I must say, the guest list for this year's party has so much diversity. Yes, a nice mix of millionaires. Mind your mother, Pacifica. But... Yes, father. Parties in just 24 hours. Surely there's someone who could handle this sort of nonsense. And I think I know just the person. You asked for it, you got it. An entire 48 hour marathon of ghost harassers on the Used to Be About History Channel. Be strong, Bladder. The Northwest family's annual high society shindig ball soiree is here. And even though common folk aren't let in, that won't stop us from camping out for a peek at the fanciness. The basket has a live quail inside. Give me your life, Pacifica. <laughs> Guys, in case you've already forgotten, Pacifica Northwest is the worst. I don't want to be seen in this hovel, but there's something haunting Northwest Manor. If you don't help me, the party could be ruined. And why should I trust you? All you've ever done is... What? Mabel, this is Pacifica we're talking about. But it's Candy and Grinda's dream! Dream! <sighs> yes, very good, miss. The rumors were true. <laughs> ah, if it isn't the man of the hour. Ah, it's like this collar is strangling me. Who do you guys think you're impressing with this stuff? Um, everyone. You wouldn't understand. Check out this hottie! Marius von Funthauser. He's a baron from Austria. Forget the quail, I'm putting him in my guest basket. Hold up, ladies. I can't believe I'm gonna... Deal! 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whoa. So what? Are you going to bore him back into the afterlife by reading from this book? Just gotta splash this sucker with some anointed water, and he should be out of your probably fake blonde hair. What was that about my... Uh, Pacifica? Ah! <gasps> Ancient blood and blackened skies, the forest dark. I smell a northwest. Oh, seriously? You shouldn't have come here. This way, hurry! Tonight we will enjoy only the finest of tastes and only the snootiest of laughter. Oh, 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 That's the ticket. Cheese, chocolate. Guten Tag. Guten, take me now! Ugh, he's unattainable. What if we flirt with him as a team? With our cuteness combined, one of us might have a chance. It is the perfect plan, but what about Grenda? <laughs> Watch out for peacocks! <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, come on. Are you serious? We'll find another way. <gasps> Pacifica, we don't have time for this. Let me through. No, my parents will kill me. Why are you so afraid? Hopefully the ghost doesn't either. Yeah, maybe we're safe. Pacifica, watch out! Did you get him? Hey, just holding up my end of the deal. Wait, leaving already? You're at the world's best party, dummy. <laughs> I'd love to stay, but I've got a Category 10 ghost to this. You've been had, boy. You remind me of me 150 years ago. What do you mean? 150 years ago this day, the North backbreaking labor and sacrifice. But when it was time for the grand party they promised the common folk of the town, they refused. <laughs> While they partied and laughed, I was swept away by the storm. <laughs> and so I said with final breath, one coming mayor, as a sign of our respect, please take this chimp's servant. Uh -huh. Keep him away from bright lights, he gets grabby. Northwest! You've got some- Look at who you're talking to, boy. I'm hosting a party for the most powerful people in the world. Do you think they'd come here if they had to rub elbows with your kind? My kind? Enjoy the party. It's the last time you and your kind will ever come. <laughs> no, no. Those aren't for him. It's just my sister's in there, and you seem a little unstable, man. Very well, boy. Then... Before you banish my soul, <laughs> yes. Vengeance. Are they strictly pets? I am from Austria. <laughs> tag, tag. I am Candy. I love the tiny hats you wear on your shoulders. Hi. We are sorry, Grinda. It's just your flirting style can come off as a bit intense. Oh, I see. You think I shouldn't be myself just because... Generations locked away. My revenge shall have its day. Ah, oh, the Grim Reaper. I've been wondering when you... Oh. 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 Preston, what are we going to do? Prepare the panic room. Gates, a Northwest must open the party gates. A Northwest? Pacifica! Horrible thing that my family's ever done. Lying, cheating, and then there's me. I lied to you just because I'm too scared to talk back to my stupid parents. It's not too late. It's too late! Oh no! You are all wood! Ah! No, someone help! Someone help! of death a lesson love you wish to prove yourself pull that lever and open the grand gate to the town fulfill your ancestors promise you dare disobey us Get it. yes yes it's happening my heart, once as hard as oak, lumber, justice. What happened? Ahem! Krinda! We are so sorry. We shouldn't have left you behind. It's okay. Maybe I do need to work on my flirting. I know you're probably out of my league, but might I give you my phone number? I don't have a phone! Write it on my face! Whoa! Go great! Hey, guess what we're standing on? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> Take that! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for you. I fixed the laptop. I've been doing calculations and I think something terrible is coming. The apocalypse! The end times! <sighs> you know what, McGucket? How about we talk... Quick, in here, my darling. A moment alone at last! You can drop the act, Trigger. 